Hey, hey, it's Simi Lolu here. And in this video, I'm literally going to take you through how I search for high yield liquidity pools in which to deposit my cryptocurrency holdings. So in this DeFi space, the goal is not just to buy crypto and hold onto it or to lay yourself open to market fluctuations in diversifying and putting some of your investments into liquidity pools you're able to deposit and make money off other investors trading fees investors just like you and me now i think the goal to being successful in this crypto space is in diversifying your investments DeFi allows you to do that and that's what this video is all about so i will be taking some of my holdings that i have on centralized exchanges i use gemini a lot i use binance and a few others as well and I'm going to deposit into liquidity pools. The goal being to get a better yield than I would with my coins sitting on, say, Binance being staked for 4 or 5% and being tied up in the process. So we're starting off here with Beefy Finance and going to click launch to launch the app. And it takes you straight into the dashboard or rather straight into my dashboard and really all beefy finance is is a platform that helps you search for those high yields so which is why it's called a yield optimizer but not only that it actually allows you to search across various different blockchains so the first thing we're going to do is to connect our wallet select whichever wallet it is you use i use metamask okay so that's a good start and in my MetaMask wallet, I'm connected to various uh, blockchains, as you can see here. But for the purpose of this particular video, I'm going to use a Binance Smart Chain. And so what I'm going to do is I'm going to clear my filters here so we can start from scratch. And it shows you all the various blockchains across which it searches. So here we are, Phantom, Harmony, and so on. And so basically what we're looking for, we're looking for high yield, but at the same time, we want to reduce our risk. So earning yield from liquidity pools can be quite risky. It's a more risky way of creating income, but yet it's still tried and true. The good thing about Beefy Finance is they have this safety score factor that they have put together that lets you know on a scale of one to 10, how risky or how more stable a liquidity pool is. So in this case, this particular liquidity pool that has USDT, that's Tether, as well as BUSD, that's the Binance Stablecoin, um, according to Beefy is low risk, it's more stable, and it has a boost on it. And with the boost, there's extra incentive added on to the APY, usually for a shorter period of time. Now, this particular liquidity pool has a safety score of 10, so it's super low risk. So this would be a good one to get into if you're happy to settle for 18.49%, which is a very decent yield, by the way. But what I like to do when I come here is I like to sort by some of these search criteria um i'm not interested in date i'm usually interested in the apy and the tvl which is the total value locked so the first thing i'm going to do is i'm going to search on apy just brings up the higher apy yields first now the APY is the percentage profit you will get on your deposits over the period of one year. So to know how much you would get monthly, you just divide this number by 12. So if we look at this one, for instance, yes, it says it's low risk. The safety score, however, is eight. I mean, eight is okay. So it's really a question of how much risk you're ready to take to earn this APY. So, having searched on apy another search criteria i like to search on also is tvl so it's going to bring up those liquidity pools with the highest amount of dollars locked away 
So this particular poll with DAI, USDC, and USDT, I mean, this is super great because these are three stable coins. And with stable coins, as you know, they're called stable coins because they are stable. They do not fluctuate with the markets. So whether we're in a bear market or a bull market makes no difference. Your stable coins are stable. So when you invest in a liquidity pool made up of just stable coins, you're reducing your exposure to the market and you're assuring yourself of a set yield. Now, the safety factor, as you can see here, is 10. But the converse of that is that the APY is on the lower side. So this would make for just a decent um, savings account style uh, investment, if you like, where you can put your money and hold it for a period of time and be sure that at least you'll get something back on it. So if we keep on scrolling down, we'll see the TVL reduces as we scroll down. And basically you just go shopping and you're looking at the TVL, of course, and then you're looking at the APY. So right now I'm only looking at the APYs because I've already sorted by TVL. Now this is interesting. It's low risk, safety score of 9.4. Definitely the TVL, ooh, that's a lot, 30 million, locked away into, into this one liquidity pool. And it's on the phantom chain. And the platform where you're going to find this liquidity pool is right here, Toonswap, 162%. Tempting. Okay, here's one I kind of like. And the reason why I like this is because I have deposited into this in the past. I think I just did like a demo video and I put some minimal amount into this liquidity pool. But... The TVL is still decent at three and a half million dollars. The APY is very interesting. Safety score isn't too bad because it's on a scale of one to 10. So a nine is pretty decent. And 113%, which is literally 114%, looks very good. So let's look further into this. Cake BNB LP. Now this is on the BNB chain. And the platform that hosts this particular pool is PancakeSwap. So let's click on this. Now, what I can do, because this first option here is BNB Chain, I can click on it and by so doing, it brings up all the liquidity pools that are on this blockchain. So here back at the top, if I click on my vault, it basically shows me the liquidity pools that I have personally deposited into. So I would suggest you look at my last video, which shows you how I found this particular pool and how I ended up depositing USDT and Matic into this pool, making me a liquidity provider. Okay, so if we come back out, all vaults. Okay, here in this search box, we can equally search on any particular pool we're interested in. And the one I found earlier was a BNB pool so if i type that in it will pull up there it is this is the one cake and bnb so normally speaking if these two pairs that make up this pool were coins that i'm not familiar with or pretty new coins and i would need to do my due diligence to make sure that i'm not risking my funds unduly as far as cake and bnb are concerned we go to coin market cap and scroll down bnb is our number four coin so number four coin out of about nineteen thousand cryptocurrencies out there so we don't need to worry too much about the authenticity of bnb now how about cake so cake is a native token of the pancake swap platform So that's cake and cake comes up number 48. I didn't actually realize it's that highly ranked. So with that, both are coins and are easily ranked in the top 50 coins. So I'll go ahead to deposit my uh, coins into this liquidity pool. So let's go ahead and click on it. And so when we click on it, we get more of the same information here. And if you scroll down, it gives a breakdown of how they came about this safety score. 
So it's factors like there's low complexity in this strategy, the strategy is battle tested, and so on and so forth. But this factor here is the one that pulled that score down from a 10 to a 9. And let's see what and let's see what it says about it. High high expected impermanent loss. When you provide liquidity for a token pair like ETH and BNB, the two assets usually diverge in price over time to some extent. BNB might drop 30% while ETH rises 30%. Even in this balance case, significant value would be lost compared with having held ETH and BNB on their own. The assets in this vault are at significant risk of such divergence. And this is what is referred to as impermanent loss. So with the explanation, it's, it makes it very clear that there is a higher risk of impermanent loss with this particular pair. Now, Take note of the fact that it says, even in this balance case, in the first scenario of ETH and BNB, significant value would be lost compared with having held ETH and BNB on their own. So if you already have ETH and you already have BNB and you're getting whatever percentages from your wallets from holding each of these coins, well, that's all well and dandy. But the minute you want to put them together, because you're invested into the liquidity pool, and because there's a risk of impermanent loss on account of the market movements of each of those coins, then that is where the risk lies with liquidity pools. So you're being given that high APY to offset the fact that there is a risk of impermanent loss. So impermanent loss in a nutshell simply means you may not get out from the pool what you put in. So if you've invested, say, $1,000 into the pool, then you may end up with $900, for instance, in the event of impermanent loss. Now, the high APY percentage could possibly mitigate any potential losses. But then again, that's the decision that you have to make. So that is why you don't put all your eggs in one basket. So I'm going to continue with depositing into this particular liquidity pool. I have BNB right now, so I'm going to click on BNB, click on max. So I have 0.849 of a BNB. And that should give me about, I think it's about 300, about 300, maybe $350 worth of uh, BNB. And further down, it tells me exactly what I need to do. So to balance the liquidity pair, the other pair being cake, I need to swap 0.425394 of my BNB and swap it for cake. So that will give me 19.73 cake and that would equate to equal dollar amounts of both my BNB and cake. So right now I have that. So we'll go to add liquidity. Of course, before we can add liquidity, we need to swap. So we'll go over to swap and we're going to swap 425394, 0.429394. And for this amount of BNB, the equivalent dollar amount is 19.96 cake. So this is it. Am I ready to swap? Yes, I am. So I'm going to click swap. A little price update here. And they say I will receive at least 19.8643 cake. And if I don't get that, it says the transaction will revert. I accept the price update. Okay, and now I'm going to confirm swap. And of course, I have to give permission for that swap. Okay, so now I can go ahead and add that cake to my MetaMask wallet. So in fact, okay, so there it is, transaction receipt. So there's my transaction receipt, if I want to look at it on, on BSC scan. And then I can add that cake to my MetaMask wallet. I can actually add the token. You actually have to physically add 
uh, tokens to your wallet so they actually show up in your wallet okay so now i have equal amounts of bnb and cake in my wallet and this is the change left over also will be reflected in my wallet so now i can go to the liquidity pool and to get back to my liquidity pool i'll go back to beefy click add liquidity so now i'm ready to supply my tokens to the liquidity pool but i need to get these amounts right so let me look in my wallet And there I swapped 0 0.429 BNB for 19.9 cake. That's 0 0.429 BNB for 19.9 cake. Okay, I think that's about right. Okay, so now I've done this. I'm ready to add liquidity to receive my LP tokens. As soon as you have added to a liquidity pool, you will receive liquidity provider tokens. These LPs measure the percentage of your ownership of the pool. So going back to the liquidity page, we're ready to supply liquidity to this pool. We'll click on all of our cake and all of our BNB and here, we're going to click on the supply button and by adding liquidity to this pool, we'll earn 0.17% of all trades on this pair. Okay. And that of course is going to be proportional to the percentage of my share of the pool. So click on supply. It tells us the cake deposited, the BNB deposited and all that good stuff. And this is my share of the whole pool. So I'm going to click confirm and it's waiting for me to confirm that transaction. And the gas is so minimal really compared to the kind of gas fees we pay on the Ethereum blockchain. I mean, right here, this is just a, a few pennies or so. So we're going to confirm. And then now I can add my cake liquidity pool token to MetaMask just so it shows up in my wallet okay there it is and that's a record that i actually have a share in that pool so here's just a small intro to yield farming Okay, so in order to deposit our LP token, we're going to come back to Beefy Finance. And here we have our LP tokens right here. So we'll click on Max. And all we have to do is click on this button to deposit all. Confirm that. And here we have that confirmation pending. And there you have it. We have successfully deposited our Cake BNB Alfie token. Okay, I hope you found that useful and I'll see you in the next one. Mm -hmm.